Hello and welcome everyone. I'm your host, John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. Today I have two coins, rounds, something like that. Two rounds, okay? That uh, I'm going to be reviewing today for your pleasure. Uh, I'll give you my honest thoughts and opinions. Martin the Silver Trader sent them in and uh, asked me to share these with you. Um, and uh, if you do like them, if you do like what you see, you want to get one, contact Martin. Uh, the link is under the more section right under this video. It's uh, thesilvertrader.uk. You'll also find uh, my your personal website, Ace Bullion, and also the Precious Metal Forum, which is a free forum to join. No membership fees at all. You could buy, sell, do all these crazy things that you actually want to do for free. Yeah, I know, right? Anyway, let's find out what this is all about. And I'm going to be gloving up as well. Aha, here we go. Now, I know gloving up on a BU round is, uh, well, rather unique and kind of special. So for that, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor before I even start off with anything. Make sure you check your notification bell and make sure it's set not to personalize, but to all. That really helps. And uh, I really do appreciate you, know, you doing that because some of them are not going through. I know that from YouTube. But anyway, gloving up for this is kind of important because, well, I got two of the same. And uh, yeah, we're gonna find out. Now, both of these are actually opened already. Um, I've done that off camera. Um, now they have the same certificate of authenticity. So you're wondering what the heck is going on. But I'm sure you can see from the above title that it's the Rag, <laughs> God, I hate pronouncing this. Ragnar talk, or Ragnar, Ragnar talk? Um, from the Germanium Mint, which essentially means that uh, Loki and some hellhounds and a bunch of other things, well, is coming, the world's coming to an end, quite frankly. I think you and I both know that. It, uh, it's all doom and gloom, right? So, it's kind of app, rather fitting for this. Um, but uh, here we go. Let's have a look first at um, the Certificate of Authenticity, and uh, then we'll go on. So, we got Certificate of Authenticity here. And as we flip it, we have the official seal there of Germania Mint. And it says the official coins of Germania Mint. Well, they're rounds. <sighs> I guess if you say it enough, no, I'm kidding. Um, right, so this is um, the BU Black. Now, they are limited to only 5,000. So if you're going to do what I'm going to show you in a little bit, okay, after I showcase these uh, rounds here, then that number is going to dwindle rather quickly. Hence why I have two of them. So, obviously, I need to take one out of the capsule. And for this, I'm going to slide the other one away just right now. So, carefully move it to a side. Flip it. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Here we go. And these are the black. I'm trying to really get the best image I can because they're super, super hard. Um, it's actually something I, I don't like that is really, really hard to show these details on. But we will persist even if I have to pull light and change the angles. We will persist in finding a way around this. So... Let's see here, if I can just magnify that a tiny bit. So we have Germania 2024, one ounce um, silver, four nines fine there. Has a wannabe denomination of five mark. We have the Germania uh, two-headed eagle. And then we have these lovely Celtic knots going around the edge. Now, note that there's some marks here on the sides of the coin, uh, coin, the round. They're supposed to be there. And uh, it's obviously a design feature. And as you saw, it does have that reeded edge going all the way along the side of it. So, there we are. 
Now, busy, yes, abs absolutely. Um, there is the wolf, as you can see. There is the sun. There's the wolf there. And it has Shrol there. Now that is, uh, I believe, planet Earth. So this is chasing around planet Earth. And well, if you know anyone wants to say anything, I'll be saying who let the dogs out in the next few seconds. Well, because with these rounds here, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to let the dogs out. Rather similar to what it was before. Now to help visualize this a little bit more, I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm actually going to place these, if I can, into a double loop. So I'll just do this as I'm talking because I find this rather amusing and interesting. I, I still don't fully understand the concept. I have to be honest with you. Um, all because really it's just, it's weird and wacky. Um, but, uh, well, I guess that's how it is. I'm just double checking that's all lined up or that it's close to lined up as it's going to be. And then I'll insert this back on ever so nice. I'm not going to put it on there really tight because I don't want it to fall through, but you can see they're obviously mirroring it. So this is where you get the one of the hounds here uh, going up and down. And then of course you got the other one going in the opposite direction. And I'm going to just try to move this out of the way because I'm getting too much light now. Apologies. And uh, we shall see if I can. I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, but taking a look at it from this angle, apologies. Again, it really is annoying. This is super, super hard to share and to, to focus on. But you will get the idea. I've uh, I tried to look at Germania's website to see if I can actually... Well, actually, let's leave that in there for a minute. And I'll, because without the capsule, it should be... Or the top of the capsule, there should be some better room to play around with this. Um... So there we go. Yeah. I mean, I found this a bit too busy, if I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Um, maybe I don't get it. Maybe, you know, because uh, it's a broken earth and you got the hellhounds going around it and such. But uh, I really did. I found it to be a little bit too busy there. And I'm not quite sure if they're matching entirely, but that's how it's supposed to be. Hmm. I don't know. I got I got them matched up from the points and everything else, so it's a bit interesting. Now, apparently Loki as well is going to be out to play. Well, that comes as no surprise. We are coming up to Halloween, so trick or treat, dare I say. And uh, there we are. I mean, Germany has put in a lot of effort to get the stars in the background. And, I mean, with it being black, it's really hard as well. Because it's, uh, it's like a brushed steel effect um it's not so this isn't really showing up properly on the camera but it's definitely like a brush steel effect um whereas of course this is like a glossy area but with a bit dark um so 
It, it, it really is a hard one to show. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, I love... I mean, the back is rather easy to see. You can obviously clearly see uh, the Germania side of things with everything. And then when you flip it around, you have, you know, the Hound, the Earth here, and everything else. It's, um, it is unique. And of course, you're going to be portraying it like that, upside down. And you're going to then have the other one, um, which will be uh, portrayed the right way up. So this is the Haiti uh, Ragnatok, limited to 5,000. Uh, it's a black version from Germania Mint, um, and it is around. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. Um, let me know if you're planning to get them. Um, if you're not, I, yeah, it's not, this is my own personal opinion here. Okay. This one is not for me at all. Um, I, I like busy, but this is just beyond busy. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to make a very you know strong decision and pass. I may regret it. I may not, but you know. I have enough in my collection, so, but it's the brand new series, so let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, please, and thank you for, uh, you know, staying with me this long. Have a great day. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys on Friday with another awesome video, and uh, you guys take care. Be safe. Bye for now.